Hello, Factory Outlet fans, and welcome back to Factory Outlet Simulator. So, once again, an episode when I didn't plan on making one, but I did have a few changes that have come to the store here, wanted to go over those, and there's been a major update to the game that I definitely wanted to cover as well. So, let's go ahead and, first of all, we'll place this guy... I to get a mannequin. Want him up in the window here. There we go. Let's go ahead and edit him. Uh, let's go ahead and put our shirt on him. Okay, can't put a hat and stuff on him. Sort of unfortunate. I would like to put a hat on him. All right. Oh, uh, you know what? Still good. Still pleased with it. Uh, can we go ahead and put some of the top tier pants there? Or top tier shoes? That doesn't look like we can really. Alright, so need to work on that a little bit. But you know what? It's got our branding on it there, so I'm happy enough with that. Let's put him in the window so he's looking good there. I also did buy this larger shirt thing, and as you can see, I've made a couple of different designs now as well. Once these black ones here sell, I'm going to go ahead and make it black in those two rows, and white in the middle, and then blue on the other side. But that is not the main reason I'm making this video. The main reason I'm making this video is we have a new update which has really changed the game. You can see it here to start with. Matches start. So with this, we can tell it to print a certain amount of something. First thing I need to do is I need to hire the automation engineer, who's gonna cost a thousand dollars. Wow, she is expensive. So what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and hire her. And then we're going to go to the wholesale area here. We're going to start with a cheapo one. We need 90 Hogo Bass white jeans. So here she is. So we are going to get out of this then. Go to match a start. Hogo... We're starting to make money here, so that's a good thing. We need the uh, white jeans. All right, so the Hogo white jeans. And how many do we need of it again? This is where my memory is terrible. I need 90 of them. All right. Alright, so this will then tell us we need nine white fabric, nine plastic buttons, and nine cheap zippers. So, nine cheap zippers. White fabric, I think it was. Again, this is where my memory is terrible. White fabric, plastic button, cheap zipper. All right. So cheap zippers, plastic buttons, and white fabric. So as soon as we're able to purchase this, we're gonna go ahead and do so. And then she should spring into work. I don't know exactly how she works, that is something we're going to find out together here because I have multiple questions. Is it just going to put the stuff out here and then do I have to move the boxes before she'll print the next one? How, you know, that kind of thing. How is that all going to work? Got to find that out. 
but neat. $238 overall. We should get there easy enough. Uh, we're just waiting on these shoes to sell right there. We're waiting on several shoes to sell still, so we can get those to be our new nice shoes. But otherwise, we're in pretty good shape. I did spend a bunch of money getting things like that shelving unit and stuff in place. Uh, and now I just spent $1,000 on her, so we do have to make some money here. Without a question, we need to make some money. She is going to be pricey. And I don't know if she's worth it or not. I really don't. We're going to see together here. All right, so we've got that in place. So now let's go down to the white jeans. We need nine. Produce those. Okay, so they are working in tandem. She just has them cooking along here. Now what happens when these fill up? Do they keep going? Alright, so basically, she takes that off my hands, which is great. It does mean I need more money uh, in order to do this, but you know what? That's okay. Um, I am actually thinking what I might do now. Now there is actually a reason to have the factory restocker, but that's another two hundred dollars. But once I get the factory restocker, then he can remove this stuff from over here which will help out a great deal as well. The big thing is we're gonna have to juggle costs first. So we're gonna have to do a couple of these sales during the day to make up for what she's gonna cost us. Let me go ahead and get this deal going here. Uh, let's do that one. And basically, this is just building up the money, so that way I can go ahead and uh, have money to do a bigger deal. So yeah, $1,000. Probably, if she does get fired at the end of the day because we don't have the money for it, I'm not going to worry about rehiring her right now. We will get her back at a point. But as I said, the main purpose right now is just to sort of show off what she's capable of. Let you understand how she's supposed to work and everything. I could get the factory restocker in here, which would be a great thing as well. So that way he could be uh, working along in tandem with her. But really we need a decent amount of money for it. What I need is to have the money so that I can do a big order and have her doing it for me. Because the other annoyance is I have to come over here every time and tell her what I want done. So let's say I want some more of my shirts. Let's produce two more of those. So I mean it's cool because she'll go ahead and do that. I can hop in the truck. I don't have to worry about it. We'll get these over to the ship here. The big problem I do have is the fact that the stuff just sits there. I really wish that there was a way that like my restocker would take it when he needs it and take it from the ground, put it uh, out on the sales floor. That is sort of an annoyance. Now I realize the issue with that would be that maybe I wanted it for a wholesale and he starts stealing it for the floor. All right, so we actually uh, made 1,053 there and we actually got an achievement done there, perfect. So we actually have the money to pretty much afford our crew for the day, which is good. But I want to get in there a deal done here, because that's what she's really going to be able to provide me, is to make these big deals happen. If she's not making these big deals happen, then she's not worth it.
Yeah, see, these are just sitting on the floor here. I need them over there. If the factory restocker could do that, that would be fantastic, but he doesn't. And that's sort of a downfall of the situation with him. All right, so we got that one done. Let's get into the wholesale now. Now we should be able to do a big one. Uh, let's do 560 Hogo Bash shirts. All right, so for that, Hogo Bash shirts. The red shirts. That was 560 of the reds, right? 560 of the reds, yes. All right. So we're going to need colored thread, colored fabric for that. So we need 56 of these. Learned this last time. Makes it a lot easier there. Type that, type that. Purchase those. Good to go on that. Now this is where, as I said, I do really love having her because now I can just say, make 56 of these. And what we're gonna do is I'm actually gonna spend some money here. I've got an idea. Uh, where is it? No, it's in here. Yes, there it is. Let's buy one of those. All right. And now that I have that, let's get Ricky refill. Did I just get two store stalkers? Yes, I did. I'm sorry. I'm gonna have to fire you. I didn't need a store stalker there. Uh, we'll get Charlie Cartman. There we go. All right. He's hustling, which is nice. And that way I know that the order is going to be processed fairly quickly here. You have to have the pallet for it. I wish I could just take the pallet and put it right into the truck. That would be a nicety, but I can't. But hey, if he's running and getting them, that's a good thing. Because that way, once this truck gets filled up, I can go ahead and take the truck, sell these shirts. Wish he would go a little bit faster than he does. I'm gonna go ahead and get the order. Yeah, not exactly sure if he's worthwhile or not. Especially for $200. In fact, I already know my answer to that. Uh, sorry, you're just not worth it to me. So, and we're also going to sell this once we pick this up off of it. All right. Sell that. Because I can do this fairly well. Yeah, he's not overly helpful to me, and at $200, he's just not worth it. The only time it, he would become worth it is, like I said, when the truck is full and I have to take it so I can't be here to be uh, taking the shirts and such. But you know what? I still don't think it's that worth it. 
Now we're gonna lose an employee, and it's probably gonna be her at the end of the day because we don't have the money to cover her. And that's all right. We've tested her out here. She is a cool concept, and she is definitely beneficial. It's just one of those that I need to have a decent amount of money in place before I start having her work. Like, having a third machine might be a handy thing as well. And really, at that point, then having, you know, when I have the money, having the factory stalker and the, uh... and such would probably make it worthwhile. But I need to save up some money first. So really, I'm gonna probably let her go once we get this order sort of done. <laughs> now, as I said, it's great that she's keeping the machines running here. That's a great thing for the business. And I like to be able to see it here. But yeah, it's not something that I think is gonna be for right now and it's extraordinary importance to me. This will be the last one that I can put on the truck here. So now I'm just going to have to take these, set them over there. I do like how much faster things run though with her taking care of it. There's no question in that. It is a great thing. Like I said, if the stuff that he was using could be brought over to him, that would be a great win. And I am going to have to work on uh, the store after the day here too, because I have a feeling that certain items are going to need to be uh, reshelved and such. But as I said, it is nice how she just gets them immediately started on the next one as soon as I pull that container away. And I am wondering if I would be able to set up where I have like this order going on and then afterwards put another order in after you know should take a look at that and see here all right so yeah i could probably click on something else uh, let's just get some of the black shirts made here yeah let's do one thing of them yeah so she's gonna put that into the order as well so that Now they're putting the black shirts over there, so that's sort of interesting. I wonder if she automatically does that, or if maybe we're right at our number already. I don't know. Uh, it looks like we were actually at our number. But yeah, so she can have multiple orders in at the same time, which could save me so much time on doing things. And that's a great thing. I do really like having that. The biggest thing, as I said, is I just need a way for, uh, in the future, we're going to go ahead and fire her for now, because I don't want her costing me the money. Yeah. Alright, so she's gone for right now. Let's go ahead and put this order through. But I do wish there was a way that the uh, restocker for the store, like you could assign items to either go to the store or to the uh, wholesale rack. And that way, not everything would be grabbed and taken to the wholesale rack. That's my sort of one complaint. But I mean, overall, I really think she's a beneficial add to the game. Uh, she is something that we really did need. Whoop.
Yeah, we are supposed to be at the ship. Why can I not click this on the ship? Let's try moving the vehicle. Um, well, this is a problem. Okay, seems like I have glitched out the ship here now. Let's go ahead and take this. Let's go ahead and skip to morning. Hopefully that changes things. I cannot put these there. They're the wrong shirts. Oh my goodness, I made all the wrong shirts here. That is a very costly mistake. All right, well, I'm gonna have to deal with that mistake. Uh, and first thing I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to print out all these shirts that I need for this. And I'm gonna have to get rid of all these forever uh, 20 shirts here. This is uh, really bad. I could have sworn I told her to do the Hoggo Bass once. Did I not? I'm gonna have to look back at it because I might not have. I can't believe I did that though. All these shirts are just a waste. You know what? Well, what we're gonna do is we're gonna have to put them right here. Start shoveling these shirts out as fast as you can. You got plenty of them. And I'm gonna need to spend the money is I'm going to need I could have sworn I clicked this one I'm going to have to take a look at my video because if that's not the case then that's one thing but if that is that's a glitch that they need to fix so let me actually go check on that I'll be right back well I went ahead and checked and it was my fault uh, the Forever 20s is what I clicked on. So yeah, that's entirely on me. So now I've got these shirts that are not what I need. No chance of a uh, Forever 21 being there, right? Yeah, no, there's not. All right. So I'm going to need colored thread, colored fabric again in a large amount. 56. 56. So there's most of my money. Hogo Bass. Hogo Bass. All right. Get these just all shoved over here. Sell them as quick as you can. We're not even gonna put out other shirts until we sell a decent majority of these off.
cannot believe I did this, actually. So I'm going to probably end this episode here because I have to spend some time now in trying to fix this giant mistake that I made. Uh, and it's going to take some time. It is going to take some serious time. So, yeah, we're just going to go ahead and I'm going to have to make a pile of these over here. And, yeah. <laughs> um, hopefully I get a sale for them at one point in time. I sort of doubt I will. I will just keep putting them out until they sell. Actually, you know what? Let's see here. Interior. Small t-shirt rack. Confirm order. It's more getting rid of them than anything else for me at this point. So we'll make an entire shelving unit of just those. Fire shoes. Let me get this stuff set up. I need to do what I need to for my store. Hey lady, can you move out of my way? Thank you. Getting some of the shirts out onto the the area. <laughs> I have to get them out of my truck so that way I can go ahead and start loading in the Hogo Bass ones that I now have to make. Can't believe I did that actually. <laughs> really can't. But alright, that was my mistake was so excited about the different features in the game did not pay enough attention to the little things and it's gonna cost me some financially it really is because I'm probably not gonna make this order on time and that means that I'm gonna have to uh, pay some for that I believe so yeah but I'll deal with that we will come back in the next episode hopefully on Sunday but, you know, if there's another update before then, I will go ahead and cover that material. Uh, I'm curious to see what you guys think of the new associate that we can have here. Personally, as I said, I think she's actually going to be really important for my store. And I do plan on getting her. I just need to get some money together. This incident with the t-shirts is not going to help that situation. So that's a bit unfortunate. But we will get it taken care of and rectified as soon as we can. And so hopefully in the next episode, we'll be back on track where we need to be. For now, though, if you enjoyed what I did in this episode, including my blunder, go ahead and click that like button. And if you've not already, please subscribe to the channel, click the bell icon, so that you're aware when I produce new videos in the future. Thank you, and I hope to see you all back for more of Factory Outlet Simulator. <laughs>